Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, uh, I'm going to take you guys into the Audio Effects folder inside Logic Pro, and I'm basically going to open up a plugin for you guys. Uh, we're going to talk about it, show you guys a little option, a couple options that the plugin has to offer, uh, basically get you guys a little bit more familiar with what it does and how it works. This is mostly for beginners and new users. When I first started, I never had anybody to teach me. I wish I did, so I'm going to save you guys a lot of time by these videos and by my channel. Uh, we're going to go into audio effects, we're going to go to filter, we're going to go down to spectral gate, we're going to open it up, it's going to look a little something like this, it's a cool looking uh, plugin, uh, what I want you guys to do is go throw it on a track, could be an instrument, could be a vocal, I just want to show you guys basically how the spectral gate works before I show you guys my future video of me uh, working working with this plugin. So basically what I want you guys to do is move around with the threshold till you feel that <clears throat> the plugin is is uh, making an effect on, si on the vocal or the instrument. After that you can adjust the speed that you want, uh, you can do a high, a low, a fast, or slow, sorry. Uh, you can adjust the modulation which will give it a little bit of a, um, a modulation effect. Not sure if you guys will like that. Try it out. See what see what kind of uh, effect uh, it gives it. You know, you might like it. You might not. Um, uh, basically, play around. You don't need to play around with the center of frequency uh, unless you, unless you want to go low or high. Unless you kind of want a uh, um, a frequency response out of it, or you guys want to add the color coloration to to the to the vocal or the instrument track. Sorry. Uh, play with these two energy bars. See what they see what they do for you. Um, you can play around with the lower high level. This is basically uh, <clears throat> how much low you want, uh, how much of a low effect uh, fre frequency response you want, or how much of a high frequency response you want on it. And if you guys can't really seem to hear the effect of the vocal, you guys can also gain it on the side. So basically, go to the threshold, see, see, uh, move it around till you see what, see what point the the effect kicks in at, and what point you guys uh, want, uh, you guys like the sound of the effect kicking in at. Uh, basically, try it out, see if it, see what, see, see if it uh, benefits you guys in any sort of way. Hopefully, it will. Hopefully, you guys will end up liking this, and you guys will get the get cracking at it for the first time you try it. If not, later on in the future, I will show you guys how to use it. Uh, well, the way I I use it basically to get a good effect out of it so that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed and uh, please subscribe